I'm at a Comfort Inn in Mount Vernon, Ohio. I'm going to be doing the Knox County Bicycle Challenge tomorrow. I'm gonna to do the 62 mile option. There's also a 30 and a 100 mile option. I got the email for the uh, ride route uh, just, just an hour or so ago. And they mentioned that all the turns were marked with Dan Henry's. And I was like, what the heck is a Dan Henry? You know, I, I've never heard of a Dan Henry. Shows you what I know. I had to look them up. And a Dan Henry is, uh, you know, it's just a circle, about a 12 inch circle. And then there's a line on the outside of the circle that uh, tells you where to go. You know, you either go straight, left, or right. And so that's what I'm going to be following tomorrow. Learn something new. See you tomorrow. Morning. Just finished up breakfast here at the hotel. Got the bike loaded up, and it's about quarter till seven. Feeling pretty good and uh, ready to go. Shouldn't have too much trouble with uh, 62 miles today, but uh, if I do, I'll just uh, I'll just get one of these guys over here to help me out. <laughs> All right. Well, made it out to the uh, to the bike ride. I'm here somewhere in Gambier. There's this is a little uh, park ball field area in a gravel parking lot and uh, ready to go. I got the first four or five miles in. I can't lie. I've been spending a lot of time in the uh, in the easy gears. A lot of hills. Pavement for the most part, except for now I'm on some kind of, I don't know, gravel slash chip seal. Still going pretty good. It's beautiful out. I mean, look at that behind me. Yeah, that's pretty. So this is what they're doing with the uh, Dan Henleys. The 31 mile route is going to go to the left and the 61 mile route, which is me, and the 100 mile route are going straight ahead at this uh, intersection right up there. Hills seem to have leveled out a little bit. There's some short and steep ones, but uh, nothing too awful bad. I'm about 10 miles into the ride and I believe the first rest area, water break area, whoops, gotta pay attention to my Dan Henry's. Um, first break area is at mile 22. 
So, about halfway there. I'm at the first rest stop, mile marker 22, and I'm an hour late. Uh, it's 10.30 um, on the site. They said they were going to close down at 9.30, but fortunately, they're still open. Um, I got enough calories on the bike, but was really definitely needing uh, that water refill. So, glad he's still here. I'm going to uh, get an energy bar in me and uh, head on and uh, see if I can catch the lunch stop before they, uh, before they close. Pop-tarts. There's definitely a lot of hills in this route. This marks hill number four that I'm walking. Number four. Look at that, nice and flat. Isn't that beautiful? Made it to a lunch stop, which is at mile 40. The last several miles into a lunch stop have been uh, been very flat and uh, very doable for me. So uh, talked to the uh, the people um, running the lunch stop. There's maybe like two larger hills, and then the rest of it is uh, pretty flat. So got 21 miles to go, and uh, still suffering, but uh, doing pretty good. Um, any any hill it's bigger than a mole hill um, I'm like bottoming out in my gears because uh, you know my legs are just they're 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 twitching but um, last little bit should be pretty flat Getting ready to climb up Mohawk Dam heard from the uh, lunch stop people that uh, it was really pretty Oh man. They're circling me. <laughs> Made it to the bike path. Still got nine miles to go, but it's nine miles of bike path flat. So, gonna love the last part of this ride. I was uh, getting a little bit low on water, didn't have much left, and uh, fortunately uh, came across this pizza shop, Durko's Pizza, and uh, bought two bottles of water from them. So I'm all topped off and uh, Good to go. Uh, this has definitely been, uh, yeah, without a doubt, this has definitely been the hardest one day ride I've ever done. Harder than any of the centuries. Whoa, the whole bunch of people just went by. <laughs> harder than any of the centuries and uh, harder than any any day at uh, Ragbri with the, with the heat and everything. But 
nine miles to go and I'll be done. Boy, am I glad to see that mark. That's the last one. And a football game over there. Kenyon, the home team is up 18 to seven. Well, that's it. 62, 61 miles, done. The Knox County Bicycle Challenge definitely lived up to its name. It was certainly a, uh, it was certainly a challenge for me. Uh, the first 25, 30 miles, a lot of hills uh, really put the hurt to me. But then after that, it kind of flattened out and uh, it was okay. Um, the rest stops and the lunch areas didn't really have a whole lot of uh, selection. So if you're kind of finicky about what you eat, you might want to uh, bring your own stuff if you, uh, if you do this ride. But everything was really well marked and the scenery on this ride was just A+. Plus. Uh, you know, you go through all kinds of farmland, touring around the county, uh, just absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend uh, doing this ride. Just again, you know, uh, come prepared to, uh, to do the hills. And I am tired. I feel like I could, you know, drink forever right now. Uh, I'm, I'm incredibly thirsty. Anyway, enough of that. Hope you enjoyed the video. I forgot something. Huge thank you to Outdoor Pursuits. Um, they're the people that organized this ride, and and of course, you know, thank you to all the people that uh, volunteered for for the rest stops. I'm going to leave a a link down below, uh, ride with GPS link for the routes for for all three of the routes, in case anybody's interested. And uh, yeah, that's it.